What I miss? Let's find out. Scar's magnum opus, Be Prepared, won't be in the CGI action Lion King movie. Why even make the movie then? Like, did y'all just cast Chueto EGO for it without finding out if he could sing or not? Because if he did, that's some irresponsible ass shit. Like, don't take out one of the best songs in the entire movie just because you forgot to do all of your research, Disney. I mean, yes, feel free to take out the Nazi imagery with a quickness, but just, 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 just leave the song. Sylvester Stallone may not be directing Creed 2, but neither is Ryan Coogler. Hashtag sad face. Now don't get it twisted, that wasn't in regards of Stallone not directing, I'm actually pretty tired of that. That was in regards to Ryan Coogler, because Creed 1 was just so good, and I really wanted him to come back after he was finished with Black Panther. But given the fact that Creed was such a personal project for him, I can see why he wants to let sleeping dogs lie. Plus, if the new guy's as good as Ryan Cooper says that he is, then I'm, I'm more than willing to see him take a jab at it. Oh god. That pun was Scott-worthy. I'm going to hell, aren't I? Joss Whedon is no longer attached to the Batgirl movie. God? Is that you? In the interview he did with Hollywood Reporter, he said that it took him months to realize he didn't have a story. But, and they just let you stick around? The fuck? Last time I checked, motherfuckers get fired if the job finds out that you lied on your resume. Like, were you just squatting there on some rent type shit? You had 525,600 minutes, bitch. What the fuck were you doing with your time? That's too much for even Maxine Waters to reclaim. Now, to be fair, ever since Joss is this blunt, what is this Whedon left, the internet has been very active in regards to getting a proper female writer and director to take his place. Two writers specifically being Gail Simone and Roxane Gay, both I wouldn't have a problem with at all. And with the successes of Wonder Woman, Black Panther, and the upcoming A Wrinkle in Time, I'm pretty sure DC knows this. But Warner Brothers... Moving on, Chris Tucker confirms that Rush Hour 4 is happening. Alright. So I recently saw a picture of Chris Tucker, Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, and Kevin Hart at a baseball game on Facebook. And I'm just gonna be honest, that bitch wasn't even a one gotta go meme and I found myself subconsciously choosing Chris Tucker. Like, I'm happy that he found God and shit, but he hasn't been funny since... He found God and shit, and if it pleases the court, I would like to call to the stand Rush Hour 3. Because Jesus Christ. So if this is true, hopefully it will be better than Rush Hour 3. And everybody will equally enjoy being able to go to work because uh, Brett Ratner's ass won't be there, that's for damn sure. So Fox Searchlight is making a biopic about the man who created Flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> Fucking can't. Okay, I'm gonna let this slide. Firstly, because as I'm recording this, it's technically still Black History Month. Secondly, because I, I just, I, I just, I just, I just have no words. I'm sure the story of the dude who created them is hella inspirational. And I don't want to take that away from anybody. So I'm just gonna let everybody here, regardless of race and whatnot, just, just live, just live their best life regarding this news. Because I wouldn't want anybody to make fun of me if somebody made a biopic of the person who created the smart food brand of kettle corn, or because obvious stereotype is obvious, the creator of Popeye's chicken. I, 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 I keep the honey packets and ask for more when I go over there because they some stingy ass bitches with the honey packets. Although I am curious to see when the clear fruit vile pig is coming out. Anyway readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comments section below any news stories that I might have missed and I'll make sure to cover them next week. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Readus101. Class dismissed.